Hello, all my kings and queens, and welcome to my channel. My name is Regina, the Side Hustle Queen, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make picture pendants, which is super easy to make. I made this pendant bracelet um, last week, posted it on Facebook, and I immediately sold out of the starter kit that I purchased. Um, if you want to see creations that I do throughout the week, make sure you join my Facebook group, Side Hustle Queen Creations, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and become a part of my YouTube family. I shoot DIY projects as well as cruise videos when cruising is back in. But if you just want to get yourself familiar with cruising, I have over 40 videos on different types of cruise tips. So make sure you check that out. So this is a one-stop channel. You can learn how to, you can cruise and you can also learn to do DIY projects. The reason why I really love the picture pendants is because um, they really good for Mother's Day, Father's Day, birthdays, graduations. You can put them on, you can put the charms on bracelets, you can put them on keychains, you can put them on necklaces. So today I'm gonna show you guys how y'all can make these pendants and super, super easily. So the first thing you're gonna need is some of the domes. I got them off Facebook, I mean, I got them off Amazon and I got them in gold, silver, and rose color. These are the round ones with the diamonds on it. I also got the ones with the wings that looks like this. I got them in silver and gold. So they'll make good, rememberable um, pendants. You can easily put them on a chain. I made one for my son. He already um, had a chain on with no no type of pendant or nothing like that. So he ended up um, just taking a charm and putting it straight onto his necklace. Of course, you're going to need pictures. So what I do is um, people send me a picture or they type me in a picture on Facebook. I take the picture and I put it into a Canva and then I cut it out through Cricut. I have a Cricut Explorer, so any cutting machine will be able to take these um, pictures and make them into circles one by one inches. Now, it's three types of glues that you can use, which is the diamond glaze, you can use the Marge Podge, or you can use the E6000. So whichever one you have on hand is good to use. I also keep some wipes um, around just in case I have used a little bit too much glue and I have this little picker just in case it sticks to the cardboard because I my silicone mix is full of glitter. So what I do is I take the picture. I got this little Jordan picture right here. I put the pendant on top, the dome out, because you're going to need domes. That's the clear part. And I just put it right, put the dome right on the picture, and I trim the picture out. I know some of you are saying why well, you didn't cut it with the Cricut. Uh, I did cut it with the Cricut, cut some with the Cricut, but this here particular set I didn't print at home when I was around my Cricut. So, and then I tried to cut them with the Cricut after fight, but they didn't cut right, so I just stopped. And this is another picture. The type of paper that I use for these pictures is I have the HP photo um, paper. I, they come 25 in a pack. I got them off Amazon for $15. I usually pick, print multiple of the same pictures. I usually print three of the same pictures just in case the printer don't print it out right. So you can actually get 16 pictures on a eight, uh, one eight by 10 sheet if you print them three each or you can get 24 pictures if you just print them two. I just always print extras just in case because um, I don't have some, some pictures come out with a line in it for some reason with the printer. Everybody printer is different. So I just always make sure I print, a, print an extra one. You can get a lot of pictures on that one sheet. And then if I'm only printing like, say I'm only printing eight pictures, I make sure I only print on half of the sheet and then I just change my setting to photo and I can still use the second half of the paper. So I don't have to throw the paper away. So you basically all you're doing is trimming out the picture the size of the dome. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is you want to grab your appendix. And I'm going, the Marge Podge is my choice to use. 
out of the three glues. But it, like I said, if you have, I did a couple of charms with E6000 before my um, Diamond Glaze and my Marge Podge came, and it came out perfect. With the Marge Podge, it only costs like $5 at, uh, I think I got a $5 at Michael's, so it don't really cost that much, and you can do a lot of appendix with it. So what you want to do with that Marge Podge is you want to take it, and you, it's a little circle right here in the middle. You want to just drop you a couple of dots on that, and you want to take your picture. Make sure your picture is pointed to the top, and you want to just drop it inside the pendant. Once you got that picture inside your pendant, you want to put a couple of more drops right on top. And you want to add your dome. I see two bubbles. Okay. And this is where the wipes come into play. When you push it down, if you see glue coming out, wipe it off. And you got your picture pinned it. Sit it to the side, let it dry. The next one, I'm going to use the diamond glaze. Uh, I'm going to use the Jordan one, and I'm going to use a gold one. Make sure. Okay, yeah, because that picture, it came out fine, but I noticed that it was a little bit too big, but it's fine. Okay, we're going to go with the diamond glaze this time. A couple of drops of diamond glaze. I like to just pop my bubbles out because I, I don't want no bubbles in it. Make sure my picture is pointing up to the front. I always hold the tip of the, the little charm so I know it's the front. Put my picture in the inside. A little bit of diamond glaze. You want to make sure you put enough. Drop that pendant right on top. Hold it for a minute. Wipe that glue off. Now you got to design a pendant. Just that easy. Picture pendant designer pendant super super easy super easy and they easily can fit on a necklace well it won't fit this necklace but if you have, I do have some um, jump rings. I put a jump ring on it and put it right on this necklace. I got a smaller necklace right here. But I'm gonna use a jump ring and put that one on. I know some of these pendants, when you buy them on Amazon, they do come with necklaces. I just didn't like the necklace that it came with. Okay, these necklaces is not working, but you can easily put a jump ring on here and it'll fit right on the necklace. I know they will fit easily onto a keychain. Transferring these onto different things today just not working for me. It's perfectly on a keychain. 
I'm actually finna do one way. It's gonna have the picture and the mom connected. So you can easily make good Mother's Day keychains. And of course, put them on your bracelets. Just like that. This little bracelet that I have right here, it screws right here on the corner. One of these corners unscrew. I don't know, forget which one it is. See right there, it unscrews. And you can screw it on and off and you can add, take, change up your charms, whatever you want to do. But that's pretty much how you make designer pendants with pictures. I hope that you guys learned something from this video and get to making you some picture charms. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, believe in yourself even when nobody else does. See you guys next time on the next video. Thank you guys for watching.